service this morning is offered for all of us and for the following intentions. For the birthday of Julius Alova, Evelyn Arsenio, Erlin Datan, and Marlene Mabansag. For the special intentions of Jovet Gomez, Shokon family, Titang Sikanko and family, Bob and Cynthia Magalona and family, Mark and Ina Magalona, Carlo Ponce, Delia, Malo, Kim, and Baby L, Jovi, Ting, and Vincent Gonzaga, Bugoy and Kathy Hagad, Dr. Arneel and Dr. Rami and Chua and family, Maridel Rivero and family, Boy and Melissa Anglo, Ed and Terry Anglo, Lillian Rivera, Leti Anglo, Gina Shokon, Elena and Grace Chua, Mother Marie Therese and Lucina Carmel, Lelen Tabora, Mary and Rex Louis, Jenny and Jane Oy and family, Abraham, Marley, and Jamil Dupenis, Dr. Cesar Montero, Teresita Tarok, Ana Biscocho, Mark and Margot Lopez, Dr. Lulo Villasin, Christy Gianan, Dr. Ramon Gostillo and family, ABS-CBN Renewal of Franchise to operate again, Carmelite Nan Sabosamis Carmel, Ramon Simpron and family, Richard, Irene, and Trish Pangilinan and family, Elena and Grace Chua, Maria Cara Yoris Haplos, Pemsi and Martha Mapa, Marixi and Nelson Ko, Nelson Tansi, Doni and Hani Poblador, Rene Kwaikong, Mila Abiera, Harry Davis and Yeses and family, Sheila Grace Di Salona, Dr. Gerardo Licaspe and PGH Community, Padre Benny Di Guzman and PGH Chaplaincy, Gold Chris Village Association, Edelina Habiliana and family, Veronica Evangelista and family, Jeremy Swatenko and family, Josephine Swatenko, Emily Yanson and family, Remedios Chianco and family, Angela Havilosa and family, Samuel Gain, Girl Kwai Kong and family, Cabrera family, Lynn Grigno and family, Raul Ancantara, Doctora Teresa Huchico, Doctora Cynthia Gamboa, Nati C and family, Emilio and Guabi Ortega and family, Mary Woodward and family, Larry and Peggy Harkins, Daryl and Glenda Thompson, Joel and Cory de Lampagos and family, End and Cure to Coronavirus, Healing of All the Sick, for our families, friends, benefactors, and all those who request their prayers. For the souls of our faithful departed, Mother Frances Therese, Sister Esther Marie, Sister Jan Mary of Infanta Carmel, Bishop Julio Labayin, Mother Mary Louise, Sister Martha, Sister Joanna, Romy Sicanco, Gloria Varela, Jerry Lacson, Jojo Guanson, Estrella Lacson, Gia San Jose, Gaudencio Corona III, Remedios Gamboa, Sandra Fermin, Gino Kwaikong, Raul and Corazon E. Chaos, Anthony and Eleanor Maldi, Bartolome Maldi Sr., Nilda Servando Rotor, Rolando Havilona, Cristita Abelio, Antonio Andrada, Junjun Dayon, Enrique and Remedios Hipolito, 
Heli Hippolito Rodriguez, Eliezer Hippolito, Leo Ichaos, Veronica Toroy Geraldoy, Susan Abong, Lely Villanueva, Jobert Kwaikong, Attorney Antonio Laxi, Eduardo Cosculuela, Carmel Adela Santillan, Angelito Gumban, John Vargas, Jan Dexter Chua, Francisco Loong, Ong Bonhong, Cubita, Anasita, Solidad, and Bienvenido Balboa, and for all the souls in Purgatory. A blessed morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We lovingly welcome all of you to this third day of our novena to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Let us now rise and welcome our Lord Jesus Christ in the person of his minister, Reverend Father Jerry Vell Celestial. Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us now be sorry for our sins as we offer these holy mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us for God the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and loving Father, you will that the order of Carmel should be named in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Son. Through her prayers, as we honor her today, bring us everlasting joy in her company. We ask this to our Lord Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt, I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me, sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet, it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet, though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger 
I will not destroy Ephraim again, for I am God and not man. The Holy One present among you, I will not let the flames consume you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cause you have received, without cause you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper for your belts. No sack for the journey, or a sick and tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The labor deserves his, his, his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it, and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, Go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you. It will be more tolerable for that land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. 
We are now in the third day of our novena in honor bless of our Lady, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Let us further reflect our general theme. Our Blessed Mother stands with us beneath the cross in this pandemic. After receiving the invitation, I was inspired to see the picture of our Blessed Virgin Mary touching the cross beneath the, uh, touching the cross uh, or typically being present beneath and eventually before the presence of God. In today's time, we call this time of, uh, uh, of frailty or instability, but we are being assured of the Blessed Virgin Mary that she is accompanying us. That is always the quality of Blessed Virgin Mary. So with this theme, I want to share with you just three simple points. The first one is accompaniment. In today's time, we are being reminded that God is always accompanying us. That is why we call Him God with us, Emmanuel. Our Blessed Virgin Mary, sharing the heart of her son Jesus Christ, she is also accompanying us. In the contemporary time, accompaniment is being employed even in the seminary formation or houses of formation. We need to be accompanied by a precise person to lead us to the right perspective and eventually attaining what we're aspiring for. Our Blessed Virgin Mary also is accompanying us in this precise moment of trial, of pain and suffering. We are never alone. We journey with her. At the same time, we are also being encouraged by our Blessed Virgin Mary to accompany each other. Parenting at this time also demands accompaniment. That is why you need to become a real mother, a real father, if you are giving your real presence. Accompaniment demands perfect presence. You cannot accompany only through your, so to say, through your prayer. The precise accompaniment that we are needing is being present, giving our physical presence, our total being towards somebody. If you love the person, we can always be there. We can always give our precise presence. So we need to photocopy or follow this very perspective of Blessed Virgin Mary, accompaniment. That is the first point. Second point, all of us are being reminded, so to say, if you talk about beneath, it means that we are under or simply lowering ourselves before our Blessed Virgin Mary, at the same time, before our Lord Jesus Christ. And the second point I want to share with you is this principle, skin in the game. Skin in the game. What is the meaning of that principle? It means that you are not only involving yourselves through detachment, but really active. You are putting your total being. It means that as if it is your real business, you are very involved. You cannot be simply uh, giving yourself with that, uh, so to say, lacking of uh, aspect of your uh, giving or, or so, so sharing your personality. If you talk about skin in the game, you are very involved, you are very active, you are very near, not distant, not far, but you are really present at the same time involving and giving your totality as a person. In this pandemic time, we can find so many people having this kind of attitude. That is why many get affected because they are really involved, as if they are really giving their total being. Our Blessed Virgin Mary, so to say, reminding us also that she is very active. That is why if we are going to see the image of our Blessed Virgin Mary in the so to say, invitation, she is always there, touching the cross. But the precise meaning of the touching of the cross is that the, she's willing uh, to give her total being. She's willing to bear our pain. That is why even in the movie, The Passion of Christ by Mel Gibson, I like the statement at her Blessed Virgin Mary, looking the face of her son, Jesus Christ at the top of the cross. Allow me to, uh, to die with you. Willing and eventually empathizing and sympathizing to the very pain her son, Jesus Christ, is experiencing. So also, we are Blessed Virgin Mary in today's pandemic. She's accompanying us willingly, taking also our infirmities, taking also our pain and our suffering. That is the second point, skin in the game. Lastly, my dear friends, our Blessed Virgin Mary is touching the cross. What is the meaning of that? It means that she's willing to uh, 
to, the, uh, to, to give us a kind of healing. That is why every time we touch, our touch must be colored with four important elements. The first one is our touch must be therapeutic. Therapeutic. Some touches they are not therapeutic. So sometimes it creates a lot of pain. It creates a lot of malice. But our Blessed Virgin Mary, every time, so, so to say, she involves herself to our own dealings in our human realities. It is always therapeutic. There's so many of us, we tend to embrace the health and eventually the extendedness of the being of, this, of our Blessed Virgin Mary. So our touch must be therapeutic. Second is reassuring. What is the meaning of that? That we are not traveling and not alone, but rather uh, we are being assured that somebody is with us, that somebody is accompanying us, that somebody is supporting us and giving herself or their total being for the sake of us. So it is reassuring that we are not traveling alone, but we have somebody uh, accompanying us with their best quality. Third point, uh, third touching is it must be life-giving, life-giving. So every time we touch, even doing this to this time, we are not allowed to touch physically. More so, we need also, but this kind of touching demands our spiritual attachment to our God, our spiritual attachment to God. That's why it must be life-giving. Life-giving in a sense that we are there, present, there are the plus with our care, with our love, and with our respect. It must be typically life-giving. And lastly, our touch, that's one therapeutic, life-giving, reassuring, and eventually a touch that can give us healing. A touch that can give us healing. Our Blessed Virgin Mary, touch is always like that. It gives us a kind of solace. It, it gives us a kind of help. So we hope and pray as we reflect the, uh, the theme of, the, the, of today's year's uh, celebration of Blessed Virgin Mary, we can be reminded of these three simple points. Once again, skin in the game. Second, accompaniment. And eventually, the touch that can give life, that can support life, and that can enhance life. So may God bless us. To our sexual Blessed Virgin Mary, we entrust our prayers and petitions. We stand. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father, bringing to Him our desperate plea for mercy as we go through an unprecedented time of adversity as we beg Our Lady of Mount Carmel to lovingly intercede for us. For our petition, we shall say, Lord, grant us your mercy. Lord, grant us your mercy. For the leaders of the Church and those who take care of our souls, may their inspired shepherding and works of mercy guide and strengthen the faith of our people and lead them back to a deeper hunger and thirst for prayer and spiritual nourishment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant us your mercy. mercy. For the leaders of all nations, especially of our own country, may they be given divine wisdom and enlightenment as they address the urgent concerns of this pandemic and economic crisis to be able to utilize all possible resources for the welfare of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your mercy. For all frontliners, doctors and nurses directly engaged in the care of the sick and COVID patients, and those who sacrifice most to render basic services to the people, may they be shielded from the contagion of COVID and be sustained by all the graces they need to keep them unwearied and undaunted by the challenges of their profession. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us, us your mercy. mercy. For all Carmel communities, may they be real powerhouses of prayer in their respective dioceses, offering pleasing sacrifices to the Father and dispelling evil and darkness through a faithful and fervent living out of their charism 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant us your mercy. mercy. For those who are heavily burdened and suffer most from this pandemic, all COVID patients, those in isolation and quarantine, the stranded, the unemployed, the destitute, may they place all their trust in God's infinite mercy and unfailing providence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your mercy. May this global and communal journey in darkness and uncertainty continue to bring out the best in each of us. Self-emptying love and concern for the other, generous care for the sick and the suffering, the deeper spiritual bondedness through our collective supplications and cry for God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your mercy. For all the faithful departed, especially those who perished from this pandemic, may they be brought to the eternal joy and peace of God's kingdom and pray with us for an end and cure of this deadly virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us your mercy. We pray in silence for all other personal intentions we carry in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, grant us some mercy. mercy. Almighty and loving God, your infinite mercy goes beyond our fondest hope and expectation. Look with pity in the suffering of your people and listen to all their yearnings. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Almighty God, we reverently offer you these gifts in memory of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In our service, may your love become like hers as so you unite us more closely with the work of redemption. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord of the Father, Almighty General God. She shares with Christ his work of salvation and restores she brings for sons and daughters whom she calls to walk the path of perfect love. She claims us also as her beloved children clothed in the habit of her order, shows us along our way to holiness, and her likeness sets us before the world 
so that our hearts like hers may ever contemplate your word, love our brothers and sisters, and draw them to your son. And so the angels and saints to proclaim your glory as we say. by sending down the Spirit upon them, that the devils should become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time as betrayed and under willingly in this passion, it will bring you thanks. Brought your disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it with a body which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was under chalice and was more, give you thanks, and give a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink with the chalice of my blood, the blood of the eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Celebrate the memorial. Lord, for us to celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the silence of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember the church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. To the friends of Pope, Patricia Bishop, all the clergy and all the consecrated men and women. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially our family members and our souls in purgatory. And all who have died your mercy, welcome them into the light of our face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have reached out the ages, we immediately go to our life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form a divine teaching with her to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, which we grant peace in our days. That by your help of by the help of mercy we may always be free from sin and save us from all distress. And so wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the dear apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but at the faith of the church, and gracefully grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer his honor, the sign of peace. Peace of your Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, help me those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, you have strengthened us with food from heaven. May the remembrance of our Lady of Mount Carmel always bring us happiness and peace in the knowledge of our protection and help us to become what you want us to be. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to our Blessed Mother, Most Holy Virgin Mary. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, in the present tragic situation when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety. Turn your merciful eyes towards us amidst this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died. Be close to those whose loved ones are infected, yet cannot be close to them. Fill with hope those who are troubled by uncertainty and have lost their jobs in a failing economy. Mother of God and our Mother, pray for us to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may dawn anew. Plead with your divine Son, so that the sick and their families be comforted. Protect the doctors, nurses, and health workers who are on the front line of this emergency and who risk their lives to save others. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day, and to priests who continue their pastoral ministry to serve the sick and everyone. Blessed Virgin, illuminate the minds of those engaged in scientific research to find effective cure to overcome this virus. Support national leaders that with wisdom, solicitude, and generosity, they may address the basic needs of their suffering people and devise social and economic solution to help them survive. Mary Most Holy, steer our consciousness to work for peace, that the enormous funds invested in developing arms may be spent on promoting research to prevent similar future tragedies. Beloved Mother, help us realize that we are all members of one great family, that in a spirit of fraternity and solidarity, we can alleviate situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith, persevering in service, and constant in prayer. Mary, consolation of the afflicted, embrace all your children in distress, and pray that God will stretch out his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic, that life can serenely resume its normal course. To you who shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope, do we entrust ourselves, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. All these we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us now incense the image of our name.
did. We have reached the third day of our novena, and we thank you for your faithful attendance and participation in spite of all the health protocols we have to go through. God reads our hearts, and he will bless and protect his people. We are grateful to Father Jerry Bell Celestial, who celebrated the Novena Mass today, to our Eucharistic ministers, altar servers, reader, and the Adsum and documentation team who facilitate the live streaming and the Carmel Sunday Choir, who accompanies our liturgy with their beautiful singing. We give them all a round of applause. <laughs> May we begin the grace to continue to come together for the rest of the Novena days. Carmel prays faithfully for you and your family, your good health and protection. A blessed day. May God bless us all. After the final blessing, kindly remain for the blessing of the scapulars. Then, you may form a single line on the center aisle for the distribution of the scapulars. Please observe social distancing. Thank you. Please kindly stand. all rise. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant, grant us your, your salvation. salvation. O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, Savior of mankind, by your right hand, sanctify the scapular, with your servants, well devotedly we are for the love of you and of your mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. By your intercession, May they be protected from the weakness of the enemy and persevere in your grace until death. You will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go and be some mass men offered. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. 